Hi everyone, my name is Sankar. I'm the president and a co-founder of the Herpetological Society of Singapore. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Ing Tong. I'm one of the co-founders of the Herpetological Society as well. So the Herpetological Society is a group of volunteers who are passionate about the conservation and uh, protection of reptiles and amphibians in Singapore. We do uh, outreach and educational material as well. So herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians, things that are creeping around basically. And we felt like there was a lack of representation in terms of Reptiles, so which is reptiles and amphibians. I think we're a very urban country. As a result of that, we've kind of removed ourselves from biodiversity. Why we're here is to try and find the Subarajas paddy frog, a species that we described just last year, 2022. So Ing Tong is trying to look for bodies of water, so he's looking for their tadpoles. At this time of the day, they wouldn't really be out in the sunlight, so you want to look in the cooler areas where there's a bit more shade, a bit more shadow. Uh, when they sense a disturbance, they'll jump away. That's the best way to find them. That's how we found all the individuals for our research as well. Those eggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are some toad eggs over here. Well done, Ing Tong! <laughs> We found our first frog, guys. Nice, nice. Uh, you can actually see the back foot. It's fully uh, webbed. Oh, so crab eating crabs. It's the wrong species, but still quite cool. They eat crabs. Yeah. That's why they're called yeah. crab eating frogs. So their scientific name, Fagevaria cancrivora. And they have a really nice call. Very cool call, yeah. Uh, you want to try? Let me see. <laughs> I don't really find. It's like this very low guttural. <laughs> I got to know about this research project that was happening at Pasir Ris Mangroves. I got into the mangrove and I immediately sank into the mud. It was completely dark in the middle of the night. I just see like these two lights just shining down on me. These two people pulled me out and it's him and his brother. Yeah. And then we started going out on... A lot more. Yeah, yeah we went to Old Upper Thompson Road mm -hmm. to just look for reptiles yeah. and I guess we just fell in love yeah. with, with, with the snakes. The snakes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this spider has one of the strongest web in the entire world. It has a uh, higher tensile strength than steel. So from this angle, you can actually see why it's called the golden knot weaver. You can see like the yellowish golden sheen of the uh, silk. Mm. Yeah. So this area used to be a plantation. Then afterwards, they dammed up Crunji River. So what used to be Crunji River became the reservoir, Crunji Reservoir. Right? Yeah. Nice. Because of that, this area became a marshland actually. Mm. Uh, but it's interesting that even though you have this kind of a disturbed habitat, you still are able to I find so much here. Yeah, yeah. interesting biodiversity. biodiversity. Yeah. What's it doing here? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, dude, the rock is so hot. This thing, okay. I'm on. This thing, I'm on. <laughs> this no. Calm down, all right. <laughs> yeah. So there aren't any tadpoles here. Just fish. Not right now. Yeah. It's too hot. Singapore, for its size, has a ridiculous amount of biodiversity. Yeah. Ever since COVID, a lot of people have actually been looking at the backyard where they just go into nature and explore. Mm. There has been a surge in um, not only wildlife photography in Singapore, but an interest in everything wild we have as well. But being aware of what we have and being respectful of it is, is very important. Change can't happen unless people in general are aware and cognizant of the fact that biodiversity exists and has a right to this land. Uh, so so for, for reference, this is what the frog sounds like. Right? Yeah. So it really sounds like some crickets. Nothing? I don't think it's happening today. Okay, I mean, this is kind of part of it, right? You don't always find what you're looking for. And that's part of the, the nature of this entire exercise. The nature of nature. Generally, for frogs, you want to look uh, at nighttime. They tend to be more active at nighttime uh, after rain. It, it just rained, but yeah. it is still quite bright out, so maybe another time. That is just one tiny slice of the reptile and amphibian life. Mm. Uh, be informed. Yes. Get to understand these things and why it's important. Uh, tell your friends and family, write into the members of parliament center, exactly. and yeah, yeah, your community yeah. centre. Uh, if you care about something, yeah. speak up for it. Very few people write in to say, I love this, don't change it. Um, going off trail and handling animals yes. is not what a hobbyist should do. That is basically what researchers do and what researchers have to do. Mm. But if everyone goes off trail, the trail is going to start to erode and everyone handles animals, they are going to start to get stressed and even potentially die. So that is probably not the best course of action for hobbyists. Stay on the trail. Yes, yeah, stay on the trail and follow the rules. They are there for a reason. Yes. Go out, experience these new things, experience them safely 
So if you, if you do see like a snake or a lizard or something like that, give it the space and respect that it deserves. Um, and just observe it from afar. I don't think you can convince everyone to think that a snake or a frog is yeah, beautiful. beautiful yeah. But I think the bare minimum should be respect. Yes. Right? Uh, take, take photos, take yeah, a lot of photos, photos and post them friends. on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the, the main library actually in the NLB, NLB in library. the one in Bugis, is a very good reference resource. You can find a lot of papers there that are physical copies instead of online. There was this encyclopedia, the Singapore oh, yes. Biodiversity yeah. Encyclopedia that was actually published. It's a, it's a very large book um, and it alphabetically categorizes. <laughs> I would uh, definitely recommend it for someone who's starting out, who wants to understand the history of conservation societies yeah. in Singapore, how that has evolved over the years, yeah. you know, from being originally very antagonistic to now becoming more collaborative. Yeah. It's a very interesting transition that you see over the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. yes. Crab eating frog. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there is a quite a nice photo of it here. A uh, member of the family Decroglossidae, the crab eating frog is a stocky greyish brown frog with irregular dark markings and ridges on the back. 